So let's get started with today's lesson. What do you think God created? He created the heavens and the earth and all the living things in them. He even created us. But how do you think he created a person? Well, he took regular dust that was on the ground and formed a man. Can you imagine taking dust from the ground and making a person out of it? Then God breathed in the nose of the man and he became alive. We have all gone to the beach before, right? We've made sand castles and different things in the sand, right? But can you imagine making the sand castle and come to life? Well, we can't really do that, but do you know who can do that? God can, and that's exactly how he created the first man. God decided that this man needed a name, so he named him Adam. But he also needed to live somewhere. Where do you think God put him to live? Well, God placed Adam in the Garden of Eden. The Garden of Eden was such a beautiful place, but God felt like Adam was lonely and needed a partner to live and enjoy life with. Who was his partner? His partner was Eve. We know God created Adam from dust, but how did he end up creating Eve? Well, one night, God put Adam in a deep, deep sleep, and then when he went to him, he took one of his ribs out. With that one rib, God made woman, and that is how Eve was created. Why do you think God took a rib, but not a finger or a toe? Well, the rib is very close to the heart, and God wanted Adam and Eve to love each other. He wanted them to become two individuals, but one love, with love for each other and for God. That is how Adam and Eve fit together. Adam and Eve were so happy together living in the Garden of Eden. Because God created them first, they are considered to be our first parents. God loved them so much that he gave them power over all life on earth. That's a lot of power, right? God wanted Adam and Eve to be fruitful and multiply and to live happily ever after. Just like how God was with Adam and Eve, we should always know that God is with us too. And if we know that God is with us, how should we be feeling all the time? That's right, we should be feeling very happy. When God loves us, what will he give us? He will shower us with abundant blessings. Now, let's fill in the blanks. Our first parents are, and, Adam and Eve lived in the garden of, the same way God loves us is the same way our parents love us. When we obey and respect our parents, they are happy. Do we talk back to our parents? No. Do we listen to what they say and do what they tell us? Yes. If we do those things, then they will even give us gifts and treat us, right? So let's always remember to obey and respect our parents and God, so we can continue to be blessed the way Adam and Eve were. Now, let's say this prayer together. We believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible. How did God make Adam and Eve? God made the body of Adam from the dust of the ground. How did God make Adam and Eve? God made the body of Adam from, from the dust of the ground and formed Eve from the body of Adam. Adam and Eve God made the body of Adam From the dust of the ground How did God make Adam and Eve? God made the body of Adam From the dust of the ground And formed Eve From the body of Adam Genesis 2 verse 7 God formed the man from the dust of the ground Genesis 2 verse 22 God made the woman from the rib of a man. Genesis 2, verse 7. God formed the man from the dust of the ground. Genesis 2, verse 22. God made the woman from the rib of a man. Ouch, didn't that hurt? No, he was sleeping.
sleeping. How did God make Adam and Eve? God made the body of Adam from the dust of the ground. How did God make Adam and Eve? God made the body of Adam from the dust of the ground and formed Eve from the body of Adam. How did God make Adam and Eve? God made the body of Adam from the dust of the ground. How did God make Adam and Eve? God made the body of Adam from the dust of the ground and formed Eve from the body of Adam. Now, let's watch a short video and learn our Bible verse of the day. Psalms 139.14 I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Let's answer these questions. How did God create man? How did God bless the first parents? Let's conclude this week's Sunday School. We learned about God's creation of Adam and Eve and that they were our original parents. We learned both the song and a prayer. Please go home and practice both the song and prayer. And remember, you should continue to honor God and honor and obey your parents. See you next week! Remember, God always loves you. Let's see you next week. Until then, practice the songs and remember the Bible verse.